Hey everyone, it's Lisa, and today I'm going to do this makeup look for you guys. It's a very simple, inexpensive look. I'm using all drugstore products. Yesterday, I went to a Walmart that I haven't, I think I've only been there one time, and that was when we were doing like home stuff. But I went across town, went to a new Walmart, went through their makeup section, went through their fashion section. That will be coming up, I believe, this weekend. And I got some new products. I got a new bronzer. And the main focus of my shopping was pink lipsticks. I wanted to get a good pink lip. And I think I have done it. I wore this makeup yesterday. I loved it. I loved it all day. It lasted all day. And I just felt good. And I used this Wet n Wild palette. Used a lot of good stuff. And if you would like to see this look and this pink lip, then just keep on watching. Oh, I have not used this in so long until yesterday. Good old Estee Lauder Double Wear in Tawny. And I'm telling you, this is good stuff. So I'm going to use my Eco Tool sponge. If you're in the store looking for them, they look like this. They had them in a single pack and a double pack. But I got the double. And I'm just going to pour a little bit on my sponge. And I can't decide with this if I like the sponge or a brush better. Yesterday I did a combination. But we shall see. And I did go over my eyelids and I did not use a primer. Let me just get a little bit out of the top here on a brush and get around my nose. Okay, this is the L'Oreal Infallible, one of my favorite concealers, no matter drugstore or regular. See how the tone is brightening? I'm going to use this brush on this side for the concealer. And I usually take the concealer over my eyelids. I'm just going to do the whole forehead with this. Wow, I like that. Okay, and then I'm going to take a wet beauty blender sponge and do this side. Now let's see. Which side looks better? I always feel like a brush takes away, but I think the brush side looks good, doesn't it? The Maybelline Fit Me Powder. This is good stuff. This is good stuff. It's, it's right up there with Laura Mercier and everything else. Now, I could use a puff with this, or I can use a sponge. Pat it on my puff, but I'm going to pat it off and work it in. And I'm gonna... Wow, okay. Told you, this powder is I mean, it really has coverage and smoothing capabilities. My goodness. Okay, I'm definitely going to have to spray, though. And this is, you know, I would consider this full, not necessarily full glam, but this is going to be your last all day full coverage makeup. I'm going to wait until I do the rest of my makeup because... If I spray it now, then I risk my bronzer and my blush kind of sticking. And I don't want that to happen because I want you to see how amazing this bronzer is. Okay, so let's get a big fluffy brush. And I'm going to start with the just good old butter bronzer first because I want that warmth. But I'm going to not go for a real bronzy look. I'll show you. So I'm going to just go lightly around my hairline.
this bronzer is the L'Oreal True Match Bronze It Sun Kiss Bronzer for Face and Body. And it is the dark, I believe. Yeah, 03 Deep. But look at how cool toned it is. And it has that little bit of shimmer. Ooh, it is so pretty. Put it in here, work it in the brush so it doesn't just like come off right on your face. And the other bronzer I used to get the brush kind of like that for more sculpting this. I'm using all over. I'm gonna use it on my jawline especially. Snatch that jawline. Now for blush, I'm gonna use my favorite Milani Luminoso. And let me use a different brush. Let me use a angled smaller brush. And that will serve as your highlight and blush. Is that enough? Here, we'll put a little bit more. I want you guys to be able to see how pretty it is. Here we go. So pretty. See how that got rid of a lot of that powdery look and now it just looks good. Okay, now we're gonna do the lip. That's okay, fine. so the lip liner is Magnetic Mauve. This one and Totally Toffee must-haves, just must-haves. So we're gonna take this and I have a little foundation on my lips. That's fine, I like that actually. Get a good lip line. Revlon. Revlon has always had good lipsticks. And this is a new one. It's a cream, 762 flushed. Look how pretty. It has a good, it says a cream, but it really does have like a, a sheen to it. It's not flat at all. Okay, so there is our combo, and after I did it, I thought about it for a minute, and I thought about this one that I picked up, which is the Wet n Wild 503C Will You Be With Me, and this one is a, it's one that you probably would not wear on its own, unless you just really like light frosty lipsticks, so that is what we've got going here. So pretty. Another thing I got when I went to Walmart is this nail polish and I used it. I love it. It's kind of a, it's called Susie and the Arctic Fox. I think it's popular because this came out years ago and they kept it around, but it is not as harsh as black and it's got that little purpley gray undertone. I think it's really pretty. Now let's do a brow. I love this brow. By Elf. Okay, and what I do is I've kind of changed it up a little bit. I do a little bit darker than I used to, but I don't brush them up first, so I'm not going outside of my brow line. So watch what I do. So I'm going a little darker, and then I'm coming down. And then I brush my brows up. And so when the brow gets brushed up, it kind of goes over what you just did. And then I will end up going over it again. It's a process right where I feel like I need a little bit more. Okay, like that. That way they're shaped and shaded a little bit, but not too stark. They have to be just right. And then take your brow gel and just kind of lock them in place. Whatever, whatever you like, I think 
even clear mascara can work. Let's start with the eyes. I really wanted to do a really 90s cool tone palette. I could not find one, but when I saw this, I just thought that just looks like a good palette. It's the Wet n Wild Color Icon uh, Nude Awakening. Something tells me I might have tried this in the past, but it's a new day. We're gonna try it today. I used it yesterday and it was amazing. This color here, just that good taupey brown and go into your crease wherever it is. I'm gonna go maybe a little bit higher because I'm wanting to recess this bone. Like that. I'm kind of creating a frame for my eyes. that smaller brush in the same shadow if you kind of work it in the brush it helps with not having fallout and I'm going to do my whole lower lid like that now I'm going to use a new eyeliner by hard candy and this is good but it is not it's not a flowy one it's more like the Stila. It's more like a marker. So if you like a swoopy wing, this might not be the one for you. This is gonna give you more of that, um, I would say like a guess ad model straight wing. So that's what we're gonna get here and then we'll finish with the eyeshadow. I'm about even. That one is not quite straight, but I'm not going to worry about it too much because I want to go over the liner with shadow. Do you use this color or do I want to use that color? Let's use this one. This makes a big difference to me. Just go along. your eye shadow like that. And when you get to the end, kind of flick up. Okay. Keep this out. Now I'm gonna take a smaller brush and I'm not gonna go, that color is pretty pigmented. I'm gonna go into, let's go into this color again and just a little bit of that. And then, yeah, go over like that. You can always mix colors. Okay, so this color, and then a little bit of that one. And then kind of mix it up. Like that. And let's do this. Can you see? Yeah. Let's do this. On the inner corner. This is a really good palette. Very, a very good everyday palette. Okay, do we want to leave my lids? I kind of like to do a little bit more with my lids. I don't like leaving them this open. I don't mind if right in here is, but I like the outside to have something. So let's, let's try, let's try this color, see what it does. And just put it right here. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty, isn't it? Because it's giving me a little bit of another tone, a little bit of that pinky. This one, for the heck of it. Wet n Wild always has had good um, shimmery colors. Their shimmers are, even their little singles are good. Okay, that's it. 
Now I'm going to wipe that off again. And I'm going to take this, I think this is a mat. I'm going to just clean up that top. Okay, now I'm going to take my Duo Dark and my Kiss Jubilee Lashes. Okay, favorite mascara, L'Oreal Bambi. Oversized eye. Okay, while my lashes are drying. I'm going to go over my lip liner just a little bit more. Yeah, because I like that. I like that look kind of like a flower. Think of a hibiscus or something that's darker on the edges and fades to a lighter color in the center or even sometimes a different tone. Oh, that's the best. Okay. There we go. I feel like, have I been too close the whole time? That is the final look. And I loved it all day yesterday. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope that you saw some things that you like. I would say the lip combo, without a doubt. I did get some other good lipsticks. Let me show you. I don't think this is gonna take too long. Okay, I got the Aromatic Rose number 720 in the L'Oreal. Gorgeous. I put this on on the way home that day. See, it is another beautiful pink, but it is more of a matte. It's a matte formula, soft matte. Okay, and then I got two more of the Revlons that are new. This one is called uh, Pink Promise. It's number 778, and this one is kind of a loud one, but I'm going to play with this and see what lip liner it would look good with because I think it would look good with like a almost like a burgundy or a wine lip liner and then this one is called secret club that's that's us we have our own secret club okay oh my gosh okay secret club mm. that okay I can't mess this up now because I like it too much, but Secret Club is another one that you need to get, definitely. And I love this, love it. Just a good one, a good one, a good little, little session here. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you to Walmart for sponsoring this video and I will see you next time.